Well, for more on the U.S. reaction, I'm now joined by former U.S. Ambassador to Turkey, Mr. Robert Pearson. Mr. Former Ambassador, uh, Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for joining us. Now, I want to continue off where we left off with uh, Ardi Mustafa. Uh, how important is it for the U.S. that the Incirlik Air Base remain open? Well, as you know, the U.S. and Turkey have been cooperating very closely on the use of Interlake uh, Air Base, and I'm very gratified to just hear your recent report that air operations have resumed. So uh, it is important, and it's very important for the uh, campaign against uh, ISIS or Daesh, and so I'm gratified to hear that news. Mr. Ambassador, now, um, what is the U.S., uh, what can it do in terms of the extradition of uh, the, uh, the cleric that's in self-imposed exile in Pennsylvania? Well, there is, uh, as I'm sure you know, an extradition treaty uh, between the United States and Turkey. I think it goes back to about 1979. And so the proceedings uh, will will go forward uh, pursuant to that treaty. And I'm not going to try to be an, an extradition expert for you today, but uh, given uh, Secretary Kerry's remarks and given the president's strong support for Turkey's uh, democratically elected government, uh, you can be certain that the United States will cooperate fully in accordance with the provisions of the treaty uh, when there is a Turkish request that has been submitted as uh, suggested, uh, as required by the treaty provisions. How alarming was it for the U.S. that a, um, a coup failed nonetheless, but uh, that you had a coup in NATO's second biggest army? Well, I think it was a tremendous shock. I think uh, uh, from the time I was there and for years before, uh, there was a conclusion that uh, the coups were a thing of the past. Uh, and so I think for all Americans, uh, it was a uh, shock that uh, we never would have expected. Ambassador Pearson, thank you very much for joining our special program. I do appreciate it.